name is K. Felix, and I will come you to K. Felix Inspire. Always remember, if you're coming here for the first time, please don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I post new videos. Please do stay tuned for more details in this video. I want to assure the members of the Movement for Multi-Party Democracy across the nation, wherever you hear me from, and all my fellow Zambians, that this statement that you have seen going on social media is fake news. And it comes, in my view, from a sick and depraved mind. This is the mind which really illustrates the emptiness of the previous type of politics. Politics that run away from dealing with issues that affect the Zambian people and doubles in lying, injuring the personalities and image of other people. Their preoccupation is injury and continued insults that make the politics of our country so cheap. But I'm glad that we are no longer going to be there because I want to say a few things today. But I thought it was important for me to make it clear that the statement that you've been seeing in the media has not come from our spokesperson, Dr. Kefas Mukuka. He is not the one who authored that document. That document has been authored by depraved people. And to the believers, like I've been saying over the past number of years, my involvement in the political process has not been an easy road. I'm not doing this for myself. I've done what I've done, gone through the humiliation, the insults, the deprivation, because I believe time for people of morality and integrity to be encouraged to participate in the process of politics of our country is now. But I have been in the front line to be injured on a daily basis. I am ready to take it because my vision from the time I was young was Zambia shall be saved. I'm ready to pay the highest price. I've already paid the highest price of humiliation, a high, the highest price of being insulted just for the sake of being involved in the political process. Being told that as a pastor and as a child of God, I do not qualify to participate in the political process of this country. And therefore, groups have risen up that are going to fight to the fullest to ensure that that determination, that men and women that, that believe in God and trust God are not going to be given an opportunity. Yes, I've shed tears of wondering how long with these demonic powers continue to work. But I want you to know that to the believers, before I go to the rest of my statement, I want to assure the believers that when the Bible says many are the afflictions of the righteous, it means this. I would rather have those people that have fought me from day one when I got involved in politics, who believe that only they qualify, not only to be involved in politics, but only they qualify to lead the movement for multi-party democracy. And if they are not leading it, they are going to do whatever they can to distract, to destroy, and to stand in the way of democracy. I have a message for them today. I would like to say to the contrary, the movement for multi-party democracy has spent the past 30 days self-assessing we set up a committee that is involved in self-assessment and the rebranding. We've spent the past number of days on self-assessment and rebranding with the general membership across the country, with consultants that we have hired. And last Saturday, we had the honor of meeting the National Executive Committee, which studied the report of the self-assessment committee. And I think it's because of this process that we have started that some are agitated 
that MMD is about to rise again, that they will continue to tell lies about our party, and more specifically, about myself. I would like to say the following. I'm sure the Zambian people are aware that over the past number of months, this group, which, has been, which was heavily sponsored, and I'm coming to what's going to happen to it in the next few minutes, has been releasing statements from time to time. Most of them, they are designed to injure my image in the political arena, to make me look like a lunatic who does one thing, who says one thing and does the other. Sending a message that goes viral, and I want to thank all the major networks, media networks, all credible major networks in our country, today have called our office, our spokesperson, and even myself to verify the genuineness of that statement. And as a result, they have been given the truth and have not run that story. But we have a lot of other media houses that do not have what it takes to do investigative evangelism, I mean, not evangelism, investigative journalism that allows them to understand whether that issue is correct or not. They have run this story. I've received reports that in certain places, some media houses have run the story that I've resigned or I'm on a sabbatical. Even that issue of sabbatical, there's nothing like sabbatical in politics. You put your hand to the plow and you don't look back. And therefore, we thank all the media houses, the credible media houses, that have refused to run that story in the absence of confirmation. I want to talk about what we know about these people. They are the ones who run the story that I had withdrawn from the rest, and it was a sensation across the nation. Again, credible media houses did not run it without verification. We hope this will continue to happen, not only in this matter, but in many matters as well. After that failed, they ran another article entitled MMD or Never Dissolves the Movement for Multi-Party Democracy. That also was a sensation. It went across the country as a wildfire. But again, the real people and genuine media houses called our office for verification. And again, they found out it was fake news. Today, we woke up to another story from the same group that I have resigned or gone on the sabbatical. And that also has gone viral on social media. It is true that there must be a reason why these people behave this way. Because the Movement for Multi-Party Democracy is an organization that, that operates on professional views of the law. And that's why any time we go to court for anything, by God's grace, we win because we make sure we abide by our own constitutional provisions in what we do. These people that have been working behind the back of the movement for multi-party democracy are now concerned that through this rebranding, through this reformation that we are about to announce to the nation, they will be left out in the cold and they will have nothing to write about and talk about. Only the National Executive Committee of our party has power to make decisions on behalf of our organization, especially after what we've gone through. Positioned for the future. It's an organization which is a mass organization. But anything and everything that Zambians don't like must be removed from the movement for multi-party democracy. We must line up with the new young people that have decided now to take this nation to the next level. They are not going to entertain any political party that refuses to reform and line up with the aspirations of the newer generation of Zambians. It's an organization that refuses to rebrand, to renew, and to move forward that dies along the way. This organization, under my leadership, shall not die. It is being renewed. Everything we've gone through has been there in order for us to recognize that these are the things Zambians don't want. When Zambians say we don't want this, they don't want it. Don't force it on them. And I'm not going to be that leader that lives in yesterday. 
I'm going to live in the now and tomorrow on the, for the benefit of our children and our children's children until Zambia is truly saved. So I thought that I needed to say that. But having said this, I would like for the first time to say the following. Over the past number of months and years, we have watched these people who have consistently disturbed the progress of our party. Now they are satisfied, even with the performance of the last election and the other elections in the past, because MMD was never given an opportunity to do anything without their interference with the support of the former ruling party, which was the one that was funding that group. We are thankful to God that they could not make it in the last election. Because if they had, MMD would not be there today. It would have been taken over by the Patriotic Front using the instruments of government, including the police, that was on the side of the group that kept interfering with the movement. Someone might say, well, why did they target you and not other political parties? You must understand there are two things. MMD is a mass movement. And the Bible says you hit the shepherd and then you scatter the sheep. So they decided that they were going to target Nevis Mumba, paint him the way they want to paint him, so that MMD can bow to the patriotic front. God himself intervened and created the opportunity that we have now under a new government that has announced that illegalities are not going to be part of the process of their governance system. And we pray that the UPND government remains true to that promise. Based on that, we have decided now, since we already have an idea who has been producing these uh, reports, we have now decided to report them to Zikta and to the police. And now that they have impersonated even our spokesperson and put his name there, using a Facebook account, which is called Movement for Multi-Party Democracy, which is a fake account to propagate this kind of criminality. We are comfortable that in the next few days, there will be arrests made. These people must be put away. These people must go to jail. These people must be flushed out of our society because fake news and lies against individuals and lies that are told on social media, if they are not managed, my fellow countrymen and women, they can bring division within the country, injury to people's image, and also injury to the destinies of many people, like they have injured me from time to time. But because of forgiving them, it has looked like it is true. But time has come now, when now we have to take a stand. I want to promise all our members across the nation, this is a new day. It's a new hope. It's a new beginning. We shall hunt you down. All of you that have been involved in the destruction of the movement for multi-party democracy, we shall hunt you down. We shall hunt you down to your house and we shall commit you to the law enforcement to make sure they lock you up. The, you know that I can't do anything to you. That's why you do what you do to me. You insult me because you know Nevis Mumba will not insult us back. You lie against me because you know that Nevis Mumba is not going to be violent against you. You do all these things to me because you know that as a child of God and as a pastor, I'm not going to be ugly to you. Even now as I speak to you, I'm not insulting you. I'm not using vulgar language on you. But doesn't mean I'm not angry. I am angry not because of what you've done to me. I'm, I'm, I'm angry at having such elements in our nation and their potential to destroy and to affect the peace of our nation. It is these elements that go about lying that create wars in nations. One lie can spark trouble for this country. It is for this reason I am asking the law enforcement agencies not to take fake news lightly, just because it's about Nevis Mumba and not about you, and not about President Haka Inde Chilema, and not about somebody else. It's, it's a danger. Time has come. 
to make these people accountable. You will not stop us. To my fellow Zambians, I am not in politics because I'm looking for a job. I'm in politics because God has called me to it. And when he called me, he did not know it was going to be easy. Even if I get zero tomorrow in an election, I'll still stand strong and continue to fight for the values of my country that Zambia shall be saved until that season comes that God has set for us. But for now, we have a new government and we are watching closely and encouraging our colleagues who have won this election. We have congratulated them and we support them in different areas where they are truly trying to liberalize this country and ensure that freedom is available to all. It is not my turn now to be president of this country. It's my colleague's turn, President Haka Inde Ichilema. And I'm not going to do anything to jeopardize his time in order for me to assert myself. When my time comes, just like I am giving the support and encouragement, where they go wrong, you hear my voice, louder than anyone's voice. But for now, our colleagues have cleared the air that freedom can start to roll. And to that extent, they have our support. At the moment, it was just important for me to mention that what you have read concerning me resigning or going on sabbatical um, leave is coming from the depths of hell, from demons themselves. And I want to say today, I started casting out demons when I was 17 years old. And even these demons shall be cast out. But one of the things we have decided to do is to commit them to the police and eventually, according to the law, what it stipulates, we are hopeful they shall be locked. They shall be locked up. Not just for us, but also to protect other people that can be injured by people who are so base. Now, in conclusion, allow me to just say one word about the fight against corruption which really is connected to what I'm talking about, about a people that are desperate, a people that have stolen from this country, a people that have stolen freedoms from many Zambians, and they want to continue to do so. So today, we encourage the investigative wings of government to up their game and not to give too much time to those that have continued to plunder this nation. One day given to a mafia or a criminal is as good as 100 days. They will use it in a manner to hide what they have stolen, to bury their tracks, and to hide evidence and destroy it. Again, the investigative wings must do what they have never done before. Move at a supersonic speed to ensure that they bring to book all those that have injured the futures of the ordinary Zambians most of whom have died from lack of jobs, from lack of money. And we think the fight against corruption can only be effective if and only if the investigative wings of government do their part. The movement for multi-party democracy remains strong. In the next number of weeks, after this whole invest, after all this assessment committee work is done, I will be facing the nation to address the nation on the next direction of the movement for multi-party democracy. How we shall position ourselves to serve your interests, to serve the Zambian people, to speak on behalf of the Zambian people, and to prepare for what lies ahead. Never again is MMD going to go through what it went through the past seven, seven years. It's a new start. I am determined to lead it out of the woods and I still believe that Zambia shall be saved. I thank you.